we have the ultimate new meta swarm deck to destroy all of the popular strategies being used after the recent balance update. 3.9 elixir giant witch skeleton army graveyard. With the dual win conditions of the giant and the graveyard, you increase your versatility in a wider variety of matchups. And with the ultimate swarm of the witch skeleton army and graveyard, even if your opponent has multiple splash damage cards, it will never be enough and you can still overwhelm and destroy. So here we are jumping in against our dear friend Perifidini. How are we pronounce that? I don't know. I probably butchered it, but it sounds like it's some sort of pasta. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something else entirely. You guys are all laughing at me right now. We're going to go something over your left lane for the Goblin Cage. I just want the Witch to hopefully fill up our Skeleton King. It appears we are facing off against potentially a Roll Recruit Royal Hog deck, but we shall wait for further confirmation. Skeleton King goes in. I want to go in with the ability right now, please. Oh, well, there we have the Fly Machine. That basically guarantees that it's going to be what I thought it was going to be. Skeleton King goes in. Let's go in front of right here. Tanks the Fly Machine. Let's go grab it right now. This might be our only chance to break through. Come on, there's the recruits. What does he have as a response for our graveyard? That's the question right now. If we go arrows here, it hits the fly machine in addition to the tower, plus the recruits. And he further goes in there, looks onto the, not the fly machine. That, that, make, that would make too much sense, Clash Royale. That would make too much sense, but it, whatever this is. If we go with Skeleton Army here, destroys the, 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 the Golden Knight, and then finishes it off as well. Do we got Pigas coming in afterwards? Mr. Peravidini, what you got in the, in the oven, my friend? So I'm going to go a Witch into this Goblin Cage one more time. I couldn't really go Graver because he's got the Zap in the rotation for Aaron Inferno Dragon. But if I go... Oh, he's going to throw that down. Okay, my friend. I see ya, buddy. If I go in front of right now, are we, are we good? I, I could go Giant Graver right lane right now. But I think this is the better play. This is the more optimal play, in my opinion. When you go something over here, left side. So I'm building up all of them. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go in front. This is the... This is the vibe, my friend. We go something in Graveyard. And then we arrow snowball down literally everything here. Which are recruits? Okay, arrows are down here. Then we snowball us all back. Then we go ability right the skeleton king right now. Boom. Ready? Ability, please. Give me a million half skeletons. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get skeletons lock on a tower. He has to lock it down. Or he goes to the night, but it's too late. The Inferno goes in there. Melts it all down. Let's go Witch over here on defense against the real recruits. And that should be a pretty clean path to victory, my friends. Come on. Let's go one more graveyard here. And that should be enough. We use it too close to that tower. We might be in some trouble. Arrows going down. Come on, Arrows. Finish off the fly machine. Yes, Skeletons get in there. Finish the tower off. There we go. There we go. There we go. Paravadini. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so uh, I'm going to stop saying that name just in case we are saying it incorrectly. But there we go with a one crown lead. Now, here's my question for y'all if you're watching right now. Do you not do you not think that the that the new season of battle music is cool? But near the end of the game, I find myself often surprised that the game is already over. Because typically there is like a tonal shift near the end of the game where the music gets more intense as you get close to finishing. This one lacks that. So I often forget that we're almost near the end of a battle. Hey, Mr. Ghost, meet a ghost. Don't sit at my tower. I'm going to go a Skeleton King over here left side. Oh, the Golem. Hmm, my friend. Good to see you there, buddy. If I go a Skeleton King graveyard here, is this a good idea or not a good idea? To be or not to be? That is the question. Skeleton King. I think it just ignores that and goes in for the three. Yeah. As long as it doesn't have a landing spell, we might be fighting here, my friends. Let's go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'll be right now. I really wish I had my... Oh, no. Oh, dude. Double nose. Oh, triple nose. Still send on right now, please. Scrummy distract. Does he... Let's see. Barbell. Does he needle it? He's out the down, but the witch is still alive. Finishes off the Lumber Jackson, and we should have a decent defense. Don't die, tower. I should have arrows it. I should have arrows. No. Oh, bro. If I would have arrows that, we probably still would have lost the tower, but... Lesson learned. Lesson learned. We'll try again next time, my friend. I should have just arrows it all down. I thought the Inferno would have been better, but then everything just got raged, and it just it happened so fast. All right, so here's the plan. We secure this final defense right here, and then we go in the counter push for the three crown victory. It might not be as easy as I'm making it sound, because we do not have the Infernal Dragon in a rotation, but that, that's the goal. That is the goal, my friends, is uh, just ultimately and utterly destroying everything this man stands to offer. Arrows here for the bomber. Scarmy here for the Night Witch. And I might go one more ability right here. We'll see how it goes. Come on, witch. Don't die. Turn around. Hit the bats. Hit the bats, my friend. 
Hit the bats. They're right behind you. Look behind you. There's bats. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Now we can go giant right here in front of the witch. We just got the king ability ready to go for, for the labor jack. Oh, nice little air. Oh, ability, 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 please. Yes, the witch is alive. I think it's alive as well. If we go graveyard right now, we should be good to go. Come on. I think it's destroyed, but we got a million skeletons going in right now. The giant's on tower. We still went back. The graveyard builds up. The skeletons go in there. We finish off the bomber. And just as I predicted, defend the golem and go on for the three crown. And me and a ghost is a ghost no more. Wait, what? I wanted to make a joke about how they're a ghost, but then I didn't. That was weird. Uh, anyways, good game. Well played. Wait, hello there, Mr. Barbarian. We're gonna go skeleton over here, left side of the arena, with a skeleton army potentially in the right lane. Oh, dude, he's gonna have that. Ugh. Lame sauce. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna go in front of over here, left side of the arena. Maybe get our witch to spawn some skeletons out. I'm hoping he doesn't have anything too spicy in there. Obviously, we do not have a appropriate reset for the Sparky in the form of a Zaspel or, oh, he's got an Infernal. Yo, what is your deck, my friend? Let's go arrows here. There we go, there we go. So let's back, let's go. Ready for it? Come on, boom. Yes, witch, destroy. Witch, finish off the Sparky 2 next. My friend, witch, you can do it. I mean, the Sparky is basically dead, but what is his strategy? Archer Queen, Inferno, Sparky? Yo, people just be putting champions in anything these days. I kind of want to go in with the Skeleton King Graveyard right now. But the question is, is that a terrible choice? Oh, let's go Skeleton King over your left lane for just Mega Knight. What a weird mid ladder strategy. Mega Knight, Sparky. I shouldn't say anything because Mega Knight, Sparky is my main strategy on my level 10 account. Let's go in front of over here left side for this Mega Knight. Then I want to go honestly in with a Skeleton Army right lane just to charge up my Inferno. Infernal Dragon, then we can go into the Graveyard left lane. Come on. This should be a vibe, right? Come on. Scar needs to charge up. Let's go. Something King fully charged. A go ability right now. He nails it all down, but the Inferno is still alive. The Skeletons finish off the Sparky, and there's a million and a half Skeletons, and the Inferno is locked on. <laughs> Sir, are you using Internet Explorer? Because that free spell was super delayed. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? Now, I respect Mr. Gladiator for not giving up in this battle. He is still going in with some Mega Knight action right side. I kind of want to go in with a Giant here, just for distraction purposes. And we're going to go a Skeleton King as well to get some souls from this Witch. And then, honestly, we're going to have to have... Oh, no. Infernal Meltdown, please. Infernal Melt, the Mega Knight. Yo, that's a Sparky, my friends. Okay. This battle is not quite over until it's over. Let's go a Infernal over here. Which locks on. We arrows all this back right now. It finishes off the Sparky. We melt it down. Come on, Sparky. Get destroyed. Witch, you can do it. Oh, no. But watch this, my friends. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, Snowball going down for the Witch. And then we go a Skeleton Army here. We can be careful. He's got Free Spell in there. He might be spicy with it. But we melt down the Infernal Dragon. The Skeleton King goes in there. We go Giant in the pocket. And then we activate the two Elixir Graveyard on the Skeleton King for an instant Graveyard. And there we go in for almost a two crown. But I respect Mr. Gladiator's effort for never giving up. There we go. Good game. Well played, my friend. So here we see ourselves a good old mortar now. We can go giant over here right lane. It should be able to distract the mortar quite nicely, but the question is, what does he have on DS fence? Oh, let's go witch over here right side. Should he show the skeletons uh, in a bit? And then honestly, oh, he's gonna go witch. Okay. I mean, that's not a witch shade. That's a, oh, he's got Valkyrie. Yo, I was gonna slaughter my witch right there, but the mortar is basically half health. The giant gets a couple smackerinos to that tower, and then we can go in with the uh, skeleton army here for this arch queen. He logs it all down, correct? Then we go ability right now. That should further distract and destroy the arch queen. Meanwhile, King goes in there, finishes her off, and we still have ourselves a 200 damage lead. This might be a bit of a difficult matchup with the Valkyrie in there as well, but Skeleton King goes in. The skeletons are tanking for Skeleton King. We might get one shot to our tower if we are lucky. But let's go. Oh, dude, almost one more. Hello, Mr. Miner. Meet my... I'm going to go Giant right here. Yellow. <laughs> He's even got more in the middle right now to distract the giant. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. But the question is, do I want to go with the snowball? Do I want to go with the witch? Do I want to go with the arrows? Or do I... Oh, the arch queen's going to go visible right now, arch queen, right? But she basically gets entirely melted. And now we can, for the most part, just ignore the rest of the arch queen. Maybe just give her a little snowball action right here. And bop, knocks her down. Finishes her off. And then we are primed and ready to go in with the Skeleton King right lane. Skeleton Army left lane, and then Graver, the tower on the right side of the arena for the ultimate destruction value. We kind of want to go in with a Skeleton Army right here for this Miner. Then we want to go in with a Graveyard right lane with potentially a Infernal Dragon for the Wizard Valkyrie. There it is, going for them right here. 
Graver builds up. He locks it all down. We got a stealthing ability right now. The Infernal melts the Valkyrie. Valkyrie is destroyed. He's got no more re re remaining responses for the Skeleton King. And we just overwhelm and destroy. Even a Valkyrie is no match for how disgustingly powerful the champions are. Honestly, champions are busted in Clash Real right now. I've been seeing a lot of pro players saying that basically all of the champions need to be nerfed. My question from y'all is what do you think? Do you agree? Or do you disagree? Do you think champions should be stronger as their champions? Or should they be a, uh, you know, not, not as OP because not everyone has access to them? Anyways, we're gonna go, something over here left lane, the Infernal melts down the Archer Queen. And honestly, with the ability right now, it should distract. Oh, we, we, the ability didn't go off. <laughs> the ability did not go off. But, y'all, look at this. The witch is going in there. It's going to destroy the Archer Queen right now. We locked it down, but I, I'm okay with that because it wastes all of his elixir. We finished off the Archer Queen with one of those. Let's go drown up here in front. And there we go. Pretty solid victory. One crown against one of the stronger decks in the meta right now. Mortar Valkyrie Minor Control with the Arch Queen. So Mr. Big Baller is living up to his name over here with a Golem opening play left side of the arena. Let's see how we can respond to that with an Infernal Dragon as well as a Witch to start spawning up some skeletons. He's gonna have Electro Dragon. I'm guaranteeing it right now. No, it's the Night Witch. Where's your Electro? Okay, it's not, it's, not, it's not Electro Dragon. We should be fine. The Infernal should eh, it gets some damage done. It gets respectable damages. Watch this. Ready for this? We go initially and arrows right here. And then the power of the Witch plus the Skeleton King should be able to destroy the Mega Minion. And then keep our counter push alive and our hopes and dreams succeed, succeeding. Come on. Night Witch is destroyed. There we go. There we go. There we go. Do I dare go in with a Grave and the counter push right now? The answer is no. Because our Skeleton King is dead. And so are the Skeletons. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. <gasps> Let's go Giant here, right side of the arena, and that way if he goes Golem, we can go with the Great Giant and the Graveyard. I think he might have a Lumberjack or a Mini P.E.K.K.A. in there. I want to keep the Skeleton Army to potentially go one on the right side of the arena. Let's go in front of over here, left side right now, with a Graveyard on the right lane. Where, my friend, is your Mini P.E.K.K.A.? No, he's going to go left side of the arena. Giant going in. Unfortunately, we are Graveyarding a bit too early because the Giant is not tanking as we initially wanted. But let's see how we can clean up this defense. The Giant should finish the tower off right lane because he's spending all his elixir on the left side of the arena uh, as a result. So hopefully that Giant by itself can finish the tower off. But the question is, do we have the defenses available to stop this Golem? And I think the answer is no. His tower goes down because it's got like ability, Elite Black Barrage right lane. Oh no, okay. I mean, he did waste that spell earlier on against our Inferno. So the Skarmish should be able to clean up right here. Destroys the Elite Black Barrage nicely. Arrows does go down. And the Elite Black Barrage gets one more shot to our tower. And a Bandit? And a Golem deck? What the what? <laughs> so, our tower's at 500 health right lane, but we are still not out yet. We're gonna go all in for that three crown. Let's go. Which over here, left side of the arena. I wanna go a giant graver potentially. Let's just go to front of our dragon right now on the right side to hopefully defend against any, any potential golem pushes. You know what? Let's go Skeleton King instead. Let's not go giant. Let's go Skeleton King graver right here and hopefully get in and destroy the tower. I'm gonna another bomber. Play a bit of defense here right lane. Let's go Skeleton Army on the Night Witch. Hopefully to force out a Zaspel, which allows the Inferno to absolutely melt and destroy the golem. Arrows go down, finish the Night Witch off. Golem gets exploded. And there we go, the left tower going down in battle for the three crown. Come on, something can get in there, please. He's gonna. Okay, there's a bomber. There's a bandit. The witch is doing some work. Witch is doing some work. But is it enough? The question is, is it? It's, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. So let's go for one more push over here. We should be good to go to finish this battle off with a three crown victory. Let's go. Witch over here, left lane, in front of right lane for some right lane defense. And I want to get a giant in front of our witch to protect it and start going in for a massive kind of push. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. No. Something in here, right lane. The in front of goes in and what? How did my Inferno lock onto his bomber first? Oh, so we got a giant going in right now with the Graver on the tower. The Skeleton King's still alive. Arrow's going down for the bomber. And this should be it, my friends. This Golem's got no chance to our tower. The giant is taken. The million and a half scouts is going in. And he airs us the corner like a big baller would. And there we go. Securing ourselves a three crown victory. Oh, dude out here with the Goblin Giant. That can only mean one possible strategy. It's going to be a Goblin Giant Sparky. Or it could be Goblin Giant Double Prince. In any case, we're going to go in front of over here left lane for the goblin giant do we see sparky three two oh the electron wizard no all right we should be fine here snowball's back right now it should be fine ready boom there we go front locks onto that we finish off the mini pekka all right <laughs> that did not go the way I wanted it to, but we should be good to go. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Sparky deck, but you know what? We should be good to go with this with this battle. I think my only option right now is to go Giant Graver right lane. This might be a crazy idea, but let's let's hope it works, because if not, we're going to be destroyed. Come on, he's going to go. He's going to ignore it. He's going to ignore it. He's going to ignore it. No! Dude, I'm just, I'm just, I'm sorry. I, I, can we go with the three crime, maybe? Something in here, please. We should be able to destroy off the, um... Uh, 
Electro Wizard. We can go ability right here with the Skeleton King. And then can we go for the three crown? Three crowns or no crowns is my motto. I think he just zaps that down, right? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Come on. Go for the three crown chain. You can do it, my friend. Skeleton King can clutch it. One more shot, my friend. You can do it, skeletons. Finish it off. Come on. Yes. Hog Rider. Let's go. <laughs> 427 health in our tower. But that is in the video, guys and girls. If you don't have the Skeleton King, you can use a Dark Prince instead. And you can also use a Fireball in place of the Snowball if you want better responses against all those Fireball Bait decks. But as anything, thank you for watching. We shall see you all in the next one.